Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. Four people were wounded at a Brooklyn train station when police officers shot at a man threatening them with a knife. The injured included the suspect, a police officer, and two bystanders. Officers confronted the 37-year-old man for evading his subway fare, and he allegedly threatened to kill them while holding a knife. After two tasers failed to subdue him, both officers fired multiple rounds. A 49-year-old bystander was critically injured, while the officer and a 26-year-old woman sustained less severe injuries. The suspect is expected to recover. Authorities are investigating the incident. In other developments, a crash on Interstate 45 in southeast Dallas resulted in four fatalities, according to police. The accident occurred around 1 p.m. Saturday, when a northbound vehicle hit another car and crossed the median into oncoming traffic, colliding with two southbound vehicles. Three occupants of the northbound vehicle died at the scene, while a fourth person in one of the southbound vehicles later died at a hospital. Two others were hospitalized, though their conditions were not immediately known. The cause of the crash is still under investigation, and the names of those involved have not been released, according to police spokesperson Michael Dennis. In other updates, an 11-year-old boy was rescued after being trapped between two boulders for over nine hours near the Wetico School in Windsor, New Hampshire. The boy, a student at the residential treatment center, became stuck on Sunday evening while exploring a rocky area when debris beneath him gave way. Despite attempts by school staff to free him, they were unsuccessful and called emergency responders. Firefighters arrived around 6 p.m. and, with the help of crews from five other communities, the state police and the fish and game department, used ropes and lubricant to free the boy at 3.15 a.m. Monday. The boy was taken to a hospital for evaluation and later released. In another update, retired New York City Fire Department Chiefs Brian Cordasco and Anthony Saccovino were arrested after a year-long corruption investigation. The two are accused of accepting $190,000 in bribes to expedite fire safety inspections for certain companies and individuals. Both had served in the FDNY Bureau of Fire Prevention, which oversees fire safety systems in buildings. An indictment revealed that they exploited their positions for financial gain. The scheme was uncovered during a broader investigation into alleged illegal donations to Mayor Eric Adams' campaign. The FDNY and FBI have cooperated with the ongoing investigation. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.